for me, there's nothing immoral about sex, nothing at all, even if you talk about it any way you like. What is immoral to me is corruption and oppression. No freedom, no justice, no happiness, then go here. He has been compared to both Bob Marley and Nelson Mandela. Nigerian musician and activist Fela Kuti inspired millions of Africans and some of the biggest names in Western pop with the Afrobeat sound he created and his heroic struggle against an oppressive military dictatorship. Now, 17 years after his death, Fela's legacy is getting a fresh look in a new film. Here's Anthony Mason. For nearly three decades, Fela Kuti led a one-man revolution with his music. Now, to play African music, you must be able to introduce a beautiful groove. He's small, but has enormous presence, who moves so gracefully, big smile, who, but burning eyes with a kind of hurt and also intensity and rage that I think captivates you. You think, wow. Oscar-winning director Alex Gibney combed through 1,000 hours of archival film for his new documentary, Finding Fela. He was a guy who sat around his uh, compound nearly naked almost all the time, maybe a speedo on, you know, holding forth, usually with a, a huge number of women all around, but at the same time was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the military. Fela was born to a prominent Nigerian family. In 1969, his music took him to Los Angeles, where he was deeply influenced by the American Civil Rights Movement. When he returned to Nigeria, Fela took up the fight against a corrupt military dictatorship. Music was a, a weapon for him. He, that's what his phrase was, music is a weapon, in the sense that there's no shield for the human heart. You know, mm -hmm. you can't, once you imbue the spirit of that music, no matter how powerful the dictator, you can't shatter that spirit. As far as Africa is concerned, music cannot be for enjoyment. Music has to be for revolution. As political as it was, the music was still enormously influential. Paul McCartney, who's in the film, you know, talks about how he wept when he went to the shrine, which is where Fela used to perform in, in Lagos. He called the sound Afrobeat, a mixture of jazz, funk, church hymns, and chanted vocals. That sound hooked American businessman Stephen Hendel who, after and discovering Fela's music online, again, would become the most unlikely the messenger of Fela's story. I was just was totally floored. I had never heard music like that. The great musician who had sacrificed everything to stand up for human dignity, and nobody knew who he was. I am Fela, who no mortal can ever kill. So let us turn Nigeria upside down. In 2003, Hendel acquired the rights to Fela's music. And along with backers like Jay-Z and Will and Jada Smith, Hendel produced the musical Fela, which had a two-year run on Broadway. They arrested him 200 times. They beat him incessantly. They burned his compound down, threw his mother out the window, and she died from that. Were you afraid at that moment? Did you beg for your life? And he'd come out of jail and he'd write another incredibly brilliant song and the words of the song essentially were you guys are stealing our liberty our freedom our dignity and we're never going to stop fighting you they're making me stronger and i'm much more stronger now Fela was jailed in 1984 amnesty international declared him a prisoner of conscience which elevated Fela's profile. His emergence from jail is compared to, to Mandela, in effect, coming out of jail. After Mandela, he's probably the second most important person in Africa. I think that was true. When Fela died of AIDS in 1997, one million people would attend his memorial. Today, his legacy is carried on by the band from the Broadway musical. Last month, they were joined on stage by one of Fela's sons, Femi Kuti. Ideas must be taken from great musicians who have great ideas because they identify with the masses. They identify with the suffering of a lot of people. So it's very important for politicians to communicate with this kind of people for brilliant ideas on how to resolve a lot of political issues. His music resonates for resistance and the unwillingness to bow your head to authority.
It's about legacy and inspiration. What a man can stand for, what a man leaves, and how a man's legacy can inspire. If this isn't the best show for music, I'm not sure what is. I know, it's a good chance I'm for people so to... I'm so glad I can be here today. We... <laughs> it's a good chance for people to rediscover him as well. It's, it's, it's fantastic stuff. I mean, you can get stopped by the politics, but then it's the, the music is just tremendous. I heard someone say it's slow cook style music, and that is kind of what it sounds what a like. Great, what a great description.